But now, let's get into our match here, shall we? It's the rematch, Kaho versus Colorful, second place of the Smile Cup 3 Group C. Who's gonna get it? Is it gonna be the household name Colorful? Or can Kaho upset him once again? For the second time, in the same day. What about T? Oh yeah, true! In a lot of countries, T is uh, deeply ingrained in the culture, right? Especially England, of course. But also Russia. I have a lot of Russian friends who are avid tea drinkers. And, and I can understand it. Like, tea can be so nuanced and so specific and, you know, it's a, it's a whole experience. It's a whole... It's, it truly is a culture. Tea culture. Um, there's so many variations. I get that it can be cool and enjoyable. I just don't like it. I really don't like tea. I don't like hot beverages in general, I think. But yeah. Only time I ever drink tea is when I get sick, pretty much. In Turkey too. True. Yeah, true. In Turkey they're big on tea as well. All right, so the game is starting to pick up here. Not too much has happened yet. Kaho in the red. Colorful in the blue, by the way, as you can see. Kaho got some great items over here. In the first match, also on Northern Isles, Kaho did come out on top in the early game. He got some good items, and he got two kills. Earlier, he got an archer and a naga kill. Boots on both demons, they're very speedy here and able to chase quite well. And Kao has the double circlet and slippers, which is really good. Inventory for Colorful is a bit worse. And the first little play goes to Colorful, saves all of his archers and will be able to kill that of Kaho. Or can he... No. Not save that archer. Kao only made three archers to begin with, so now he's down two archers. Should come to a fight. It seems like he would be pretty far behind. Like the Hunter's Hall. Definitely a bit delayed on Kao's side. Also, a little bit for colorful, I guess. The sentry wards are revealing what's going on. Those are Kaho's. Colorful trying to get to the tavern, he wants to hire the Naga, but Kao is here, ready and waiting. So Colorful might be forced into a Keeper this time. Uh, no. Goes for his own Naga and now he's on the chase. And that should be another Archer going down. Oof. Painful early game for Kaho. Seems like he's going to lose three archers total. But you also have to be careful with that Naga. She is quite squishy. Colorful's Naga, though, does make it back to the Moonwells. We'll be able to heal. Demon Hunter is still pressuring. And that's the strength of a Demon Hunter that is so decked out with circlets and slippers. Doesn't have the boots anymore. He gave those to the Naga. But the right click still hurts. Alright, tier 3 is coming up. It's time for beers! Ladies and gentlemen. Same as they did before. On this map. The player's forces are under attack. Big items here in the middle from the marketplace and the merchant, but not easy to creep. And, uh, yeah. 
pretty dangerous to get creep jacked. Could Colorful creep this with the two heroes and three archers? Could he snipe the troll of warlord? Maybe. A player's forces are under attack. Seems like Colorful is playing this rematch now a lot more carefully than he did the first map, where there were a few unnecessarily unnecessary blunders involved, especially in the early game. I think both players accidentally triggered the aggro with the Ancient of War at exactly the same time. It's kind of funny. Alright. Big last hit. Who's gonna get it? Experience goes to Kaho, but the item goes to Colorful, and it's the Elf of Giant Strength. Not bad. Making this Demon Hunter quite a bit more tanky. Where are Kaho's units? It's got like barely anything. Colorful always already with the first bear and rejuve, but no master training yet. And it feels like Kao is forced to contest here in the middle, giving away both items from the middle camps. Would result in the opponent getting a significant edge. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh. And it's a clear mistake by Kaho. Ancient of War going down to the creeps. However, he's gonna have plenty of massive bears soon. And once you do that, once you have that, and then Ancients of War, I guess, don't need that much anymore for creeping. Committing to the camp. Looks like he's willing to TP out here if he gets the item. Which he shall. Healthstone. Very good find. One of the better ones. Two dryads going down for Colorful, but also Kaho losing one of his own. Level 3 Demon Hunter now. That's a good level up for Kaho. Both demons so far without an orb of venom. And Colorful gonna feel the need to TP out. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Kaho had the orb. Did he bring the orb with backpack? Or was the Naga in the main? Kind of missed that. Not gonna buy anything from the marketplace. Next week, maybe, when things are on sale. Ooh, one bear forgotten in the middle. Oh, Kaho. Oh, that's painful. Pulls it back, but perhaps too late. Oh, no, okay. I thought the drides were going to arrive for the slow, but I guess not. I really want to know if he has a backpack or not. Would be kind of a cool play. Get backpack, bring over the orb. More upgrades coming in for the bears. When you lose a TP, like Colorful just did, it's always scary moving towards the late game because you never know if there might be a bear drop, a doom drop coming. Oh my god, this team out is so strong. Colorful marching across the map, he's gonna try to force a fight here, I guess, or at least force a TP. Forcing a fight would be quite dangerous next to the opponent's Moonwells. Big item for Kaho. Cargas, uh, I mean, Hood of Cunning is not bad. Colorful definitely gonna have to leave here. Rejuvenation running though. Not getting dispelled. Or is it? 
Good disengage by Colorful. Not needing to TP out, just walks it off. Use the staff. But Kaho could go top left now and creep to the next red camp. Alright, Colorful re engaging. I think he saw that all the units here for Kaho were low HP. Rejuve absolutely everywhere. I only see health bars. Kind of hard to tell what's going on. Demon are dropping very low, has to use the invoke potion. Health stone on the other side for Colorful, so he's nice and healthy right here. Chain Lightning coming through, bears dying on both sides. One each only, I think. Never mind. Cow loses two bears. Alright. Good exchange here for Colorful. Fifth supply for him. And the lumber for Colorful is looking really good. I think Kaho didn't go for an, uh, what's it called? Ultra Vision. If I see this right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't. It always baffles me when Night Elves don't go Ultra Vision. It makes me wonder, are they doing it on purpose? Or did they forget? So good. Colorful keeping track with the Demon Hunter solo creeping the Naga. That's kind of interesting. Perhaps he really values a high level Fog Lightning. Top left red camp, red camp is still up for grabs, by the way. And now it's going to be Kyle's turn to go for the big push. He's got a heal scroll. He's got good items, and might even be willing to fight into Colorful's main. Hard to tell who has the lead right now. Colorful breaking into upkeep, he's gonna have way faster reinforcements. But Kao might just want to do some structural damage here and TP out. He has that option anyways. Team Hunter for Colorful taking some damage, but that's a tanky boy. Lots of HP and armor. And evasion. Alright, Kaho is going to take this fight, at least for now. One bear dropping low, getting staffed out. Kaho must also have a staff. Two of his bears are hurt in the meantime. The Dryad, though, is going to fall. Rejuvenation getting dispelled quickly. Kaho falling back, pulling back the hurt bears pretty nicely. But there's still two low HP bears. Wait a minute. Is he going to lose both these bears? Oh, looks like he is. Oh my god, the Dryad's having a tough time reaching. But they do reach. Ooh, Kao lost a dryad and two bears right there. That is definitely painful. And with that, Colorful now seemingly clearly in the lead. Moonjus for Kaho is looking good though. He does have home field advantage now. Colorful, is he gonna push in here? Probably not. Could just fall back, creep the opponent's lab, creep the red camp. Probably wants to go for some heal scrolls as well. That's entry where the Colorful placed earlier. Absolutely wonderful. Yep, that one right there. Telling him exactly when Kao is moving out, but he needs to get ready. And in we go again. Next big fight. Who's this one looking better for? Oh, is Colorful missing the roar right there? Ah, there we go. Roar activated. Now... Early invoke potion. 
concave for Colorful is looking really good. He's got a wonderful surface area here, even able to fight with the Ancient of War. Yeah, this fight seems to be going to Ornati's champion, doesn't it? So many bears about to drop mana low everywhere. Oh, the Demon Hunter! Oh my god, the Demon Hunter almost died, Jesus. Naga level 4, can she do a bit more? Heal scroll is desperately needed. Oh my god, everything is so hurt. Oof. Last second heal through the scroll. Wait a minute. Pick supply for Colorful. What's going on? Dude, kill the bears. <laughs> the one full HP bear still looking for, to fight. Alright, saved with a staff. So. A player's forces are under attack. How has the dust settled here? Ooh, the Naga. In trouble still. Might be dead. Both heroes. Uh-oh. Cold arrow. Oh my god, he doesn't have mana anymore. Jesus. That was a balancing act. Okay, Calofl has lots of units left, but he needs a lot of rejuve first to heal up. It does look like Kao lost way more there for sure. Players' forces are under attack. There's still a bit of creeping to be done on the map. We still got the red camp in the top left. And remember, Kaho got the first big red camp item already, the Hood of Cunning. He still got it. He's got it on the demon. Didn't Kao have slippers earlier? I guess he sold them. Colorful's Naga should be really close to level 5. A player's forces are under attack. Yep. That level 2 Fog Lightning could do some good damage, but she doesn't have much mana here at all anymore. Colorful trying to delay. Would love to find a creep jack up there. Kaho being cautious for that reason. Alright, Colorful may want to. Hammer this one in. Finish the job. Got a heal scroll. The player's force is on the upgrades, by the way. 2 2 for Colorful. Not sure what it is for Kao. Kao. Naga almost 4 on the one side, almost level 5 on the other side. And in we go! Whiz coming in for the detonates, getting uh, fog lightning partly. Fifty-eight supply now, also for Kaho, two dryads, and the rest bears. Colorful with only one single dryad. Maybe rejuvenation mid fight could be usable. Kalof is about to get double level ups here. That's a big deal. Ring of Region is uh, kind of whatever. I'm curious. What's the item on the ground? I don't know. Is it the claws? Might be. The Observer is also freaking out because of the item. Ah, circlet. Alright. They're sizing each other up. Trying to gauge whether they would be favored in a fight. Who's got the stronger army? Upgrades are even. 2-2 two -two versus 2-2. Two -two. No aura advantage this time. Speaking of which, though, Kalofa could buy an aura. He's got a lot of gold. There's a marketplace here. And the Naga is at the marketplace. A 
player's forces are under attack. There we go, he bought it. Ancient Jango of Endurance, bonus movement speed now everywhere. Scourge Bone Chimes could also purchasable, by the way. Can supply lead now for Kaho, but Colorful can catch up. Once his moon wells finish, he's got the gold. When's the next fight gonna break out here? That's the question. So far, both seem a bit hesitant to start the next brawl. Main gold mine expires, by the way. Tree of Eternity now. Gonna walk over to the expo. Which will take some time, depending on whether there's Nature's Blessing or not. Oh, Colorful definitely does not have Nature's Blessing. Because he didn't have enough lumber. So, that's going to take a while. Oh, <laughs> same as the case on the other side, though. A player's forces are under attack. The slow march towards more fertile lands. All right, here we go. Colorful Spare's having a tough time here connecting with the damage. Some of them weren't doing anything. Maybe a bit too much target fire there for a while. And Kaho is... Like, pretty much fully encircling him. Whisk coming in for the detonate. Lots of roar now missing. Invul potion gonna run out soon. It was a big invul, though, actually. So, Colorful's still pretty healthy with the Demon Hunter in the middle of things. Cow has a lot of high HP bears still remaining. But so does Colorful. They're just a little bit further in the back. Rejuvenation coming in again. And there is... Oh! No Dispel of the Dryads anymore. Can't Dispel the Rejuve. That's a big deal. Demon Hunter can come back into the fight. L5 Demon for Kaho, but dropping very low on HP. Both Demon Hunters, actually. Dropping very low HP. Trying to run back to the Moonwells. Fog Lightning comes in again. 35 supply for Kaho. Looking for more kills. Should be able to get one more bear, maybe. Oh! Not quite, actually. Colorful. Ooh! Needs to pull back these bears, and he does. Last second with the staff. Double staff. Triple staff. The demon is healed up again, looking for more kills. Colorful takes that one out as well. It was a pretty even exchange, though. They both lost a ton of units. And both now at around 30 supply. Trio of Eternity entangling a little bit faster for Colorful, but not by that much. Now I got level five and a half. The Naga ult is mostly a meme. Could it do something this game? I don't really think so. Oh, it's a nice move by Colorful. He's preventing the entangling of the expansion. This is going to put him far ahead economically. Seems like Colorful is out of Wisps. He brought a lot of Wisps to detonate. And now he can't even fully mine, I believe. But Kaho, absolutely, you know, presenting, presenting himself in a very good light. He's looking strong. It's a dead even game still. Still daytime for a bit longer, the moon juice must be looking rough, especially on colorful side. He's waiting with bated breath for nighttime to fall. Full mining is now established. More bears are coming, a couple of clarities. Colorful is gonna have a ton of fog lightning to use here. How also used pretty much all of his wisps in the fight earlier.
And with that faster expansion, maybe Colorful can force a fight here with two more bears or something like that. Himself also quite close to level 5 on the demon. Are we going to mine out the natural as well? <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Alright, Moondrew's regenerating once again. I'm pretty sure Colorful as Wellspring upgrade. Certainly should. When is uh, the four players gold cup starting, by the way? Is that 6 p.m. or 7 p.m.? I think it's 7, right? I think it's 7 p.m. Alright, so then we shouldn't the collide. Colorful buying Wand of Illusion. That can be really, really good in Bear Mirror. Those illusions usually soak up a lot of damage for the rest of the army. Dude, there's somehow still a lot of creeps on this map. <laughs> Don't even know how that works. The Naga is a bit too close here. But whatever. Demon gets five anyways. Double Ring of Region. Hmm. That's pretty good, right? Demon's always going to be taking some damage, so a bit of healing. Always good. Got a lot of HP Region now. How much HP Region is that? It must be like six, six HP per second or something? Not bad, not bad. Thank you, Cryon TV with the raid. Oh, I missed some uh, subs and stuff, by the way. Gokler with a 199 says, Love B2W, and Cezanne with a 20 month 3 sub. Thank you, thank you. Oof. They're really testing each other's patience here. Alright, we're back up at 50 supply. Is it time to brawl, ladies and gentlemen? Not yet. Kaho at 58. With those bears joining, he will want to fight, I guess. They're testing my patience as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's taking a little bit. All right, but colorful back at seventy supply. It might be time to og og. All right, here we go. Rejuve everywhere. Roar as well, we have illusions. And this is again, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what's even happening? Fog lightning advantage, of course, on colorful side. Bam! There it is, big zap. Double staff, trying to save as many bears as possible. Cow about to get his own level 6 on the Naga, and this time it seems like colorful is coming out on top here. But Kao, if he gets more kills, can he maybe get level 6 Demon Hunter? It seems like he needs the ultimate. Because all of his bears are about to drop. Demon Hunter low HP has to run away. Rejuvenation coming in. Not using the dispel yet. There it is! And the mana burn. And the right click. And just like that. Suddenly, he disappears. 
And that must be at the end now. Without a first hero, no chance anymore. GG is called. And the 1 0 goes to Colorful. Had to work for that quite hard. But in the end, our WDL champ gets the job done. On the first map, his day is not over yet. He must prove himself once again on map two. And Kaos has a chance to bring it back. What time is it in China right now? It's pretty late, right? Eh, it's 11.30. Okay. It's not that late. I wonder if they're going to need a little break after that game. It was pretty long, right? It must have been like 30 minutes or something. <clears throat> Colorful does clutch it out. Seems like Colorful now maybe he has uh, all the wind in his sails again. He looked absolutely amazing against Foggy. And here in the first map also gets the W. But that was super close. That was very touch and go. Could have gone either way. But in the end, Colorful wins the micro battle in the Bemera, as he almost always does. Not always. Sometimes he will lose those as well, but yeah, not here. To be fair, when they met before here, right, earlier today on Northern Isles, I think uh, Kaho was able to find double aura, which was really good. But um, actually, he sold one of the auras. Anyways! Map number two, boys. Who is hyped? Huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Amazonia. The smallest map in the pool. As we saw earlier, definitely a playable Potom map. But Colorful is so damn good against Potom. I'm not sure if it works anymore. I don't know if Potom works against Colorful anymore. Might be up to Moon to find a way to do it. I mean, Moon did beat him in the TP Cup last week. So I guess he did find a way. Didn't see those games, though. Did he play Potom? I'm not sure. I'm starting to ramble. Double Demon Hunter. All right! Is it time for the Talons again? Or is it going to be bears once more? I wonder if those Talons only work if they come as a surprise. Or if it could really be used as an Achilles heel against Colorful. Because it's happened a number of times now. A number of times that the towns did work out, and Colorful with his favorite unit, the Bears, wasn't ready against him. A little bit of a difficult creep here for Kaho. Had to use repair, had to take some damage on the demon. Gets Claws and Mantle. Ooh, Colorful with Agitome and Claws. Could be picture-perfect drops. 1 in 20. Oh my god! Slippers, Agitome, Claws. 100% perfect drops for Colorful. Oh my god, if he steals this item as well. Oh my god, the timing is tremendous. And Kao has to fall back. Oh my god, if this slippers again, this would be ridiculous. Is it the perfect lottery? Ooh, Kao is falling a bit apart here in this early game. No way. No way. Okay. No slippers here. That would have been too crazy. But that's certainly a very nice start for Colorful. 
Finding a lot of good experience and really good items. He's gonna get the next item over at the other troll camp as well. Hunters Hall. Gauntlets. Alright. The item drops are starting to normalize. Guess he's gonna sell the gauntlets for sure at some point. A player's forces are under attack. Experience wise, it's still pretty even though. Kaho also invested into a circuit. No boots this time. Which totally puzzles me. <laughs> I don't understand at all why sometimes they are going boots and sometimes they're not. Five archers this time by Kaho. Quite a bit more. Six archers. Wait a minute. A player's forces are under attack. Is he playing an archer push? Colorful in the middle, at the tavern, waiting for the second hero. Naga is expected. Colorful only has four archers, that's kind of the norm, and he must have seen the six archers on the other side, so he's also wondering... What's going on here? A player's forces are under attack. Colorful going for Ultra Vision right away. Alright, and this is gonna be... It's gonna be Talons, I guess. There's no Hunter's Hall for Kaho. Kaho's gonna get the next item here. Gloves of Haste. Also nice. Kaho can find some kills here now though. Picks up his own Naga, the archers are exposed. At least one's gonna go down. This could be a lot of losses. Ooh, nice Shadow Meld. At the perfect moment, might be able to force a TP. No, not quite, but this team hunter is pretty much out of the fight. No reveals coming in yet. Now there is. One archer dead. Almost a second. Nice save there by Kaho. Also nice save though by Kaho. How did that archer survive? On like 5 HP. Pretty crazy. Yeah, kind of missed the dust there. Or missed the reveal, I should say. He was just focusing on microing, I, I suppose. And Colorful is respecting the possibility of a push. He's going for an AP. And can creep up a bit more. Double heal potion for Kalo Kaho. He wants to go for the push. But just archers. No talents. No dryads. Nothing. Just... Archers. Colorful not yet level 3 on the Demon Hunter. Looking for some kills here. This looks really ambitious. He's got the smaller army, but he doesn't mind. He doesn't care. Forces a heal potion right away. May have to TP out here. Oh, that Naga. So close to dying. Oh my god. One shot away. Are you kidding me? Here comes the Shredder. Alrighty. Archer Shredder push. Always a fun strategy. Is played a decent amount on this map. Shredder in the front to do normal damage and to block. Archers behind with ranged DPS. And a lot of Wisps to permanently repair the Shredder. Colorful has set up a pretty nice defense here. Ancient of War and AP, hard to go up against. Is he going for a second Shredder? Yes, he is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Master training is cute. Soon to be finished. Andres Hall is definitely going to be going down here. The bears are started. Can you still make bears without a Hunter's Hall? I always forget. Oh, 
Orb of Venom on the Naga. I like that. She can, from range, spread some poison damage. Thank you, Inter, already with the 11 month, with the 11 month three subsets. Let's go, Kaho! Yeah, Kaho is, of course, very all in right here. If this push doesn't work out, this game is over. He doesn't have the tier 3 transition, he doesn't have the bears. Oh, diving deep now, the Shredders trying to reach against the archers. Even the Lightning Shield involved, but the first Shredder goes down, and so does the second one. Demon Hunter low HP has to run away, he needs to be careful, but the Demon falls. A double level up for Colorful, and that's it. GG is called. Where our first map took a long time and was a very tense back and forth. The second one is over much quicker. And that gives us our last result of the day and tells us who's going to be making it into the playoffs. And that's, of course, Colorful. Second place for Colorful. Lower seed for that reason for Colorful. And we're going to be seeing him again in the playoffs starting on Sunday. He's going to be going up against either 1 to 0 or Focus or the first place finisher of Group D. We'll see how that works out. So with that, we have three groups done now. Today in Group C, unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Foggy and Kaho. Sock and Colorful make it through.